Hello and welcome back to GT Retro World. Well today I thought I would show you something that I bought just over a year ago and it was from the Durham Radio Rally through a company called Canny Components and I noticed that today was staring at me on the shelf and I thought God struth me, you need to get that down have a look at it. <laughs> one thing, make sure it works. Anyway, it's just basically an SWR meter, it's a digital one and it's made by the guys over at Nissai. It's it's quite nifty to be honest. I mean, like I say, I haven't even tried it yet, which is quite embarrassing, I suppose. But uh, yeah, we'll have a look at it and go through a few of the specs in a minute, guys. So let's have a look at it anyway. Okay, before we have a look at this, we'll peel this film off. Look at that pulling the LCD. You can see there. There we go. Let's get that off, out of the way. Horrible things, them. I don't like them. Like I said, life's too short to leave them on. And uh, they just go a bit monkey over time anyway, don't they? Anyway, guys, this is the DG503. These are 503 Max. This will measure CWFM and FDMA. The Max will do, obviously, AM, PEP, and obviously SSB. So that's mainly for, like, your PEP, which is probably quite nice in a way. But anyway, this is what I've got. Its frequency range is from 1.6 to 60 megahertz. That's on HF. And on VHF, UHF, it'll measure from 125 to 525. Power range is 200 watts. Accuracy range is plus or minus 5%, which is probably... It seems quite high, but it's not really, is it? Minimum power for an SWR is 1 watt. The input-output connectors on the back are SO239s, nines, which is obvious. Uh, maybe these end types might have been nice for UHF, VHF. But anyway, insertion loss less than... 0 0.1 db which is good obviously impedance is 50 ohms the dimensions is 140 by 84 by 122 millimeter and accessories obviously it comes with a manual and a dc cable which i have over here i say manual the manual's foreign so i haven't even got that i've just printed one out nice ferrite cable on the other end white is your positive black's your negative okay so what we'll do now we'll have a look around the front of it as you can see on the front there guys we have VHF and UHF switch and also an on and off power button yeah okay feels good nice little feet on the bottom around the rear we have our input and output connectors for TX and antenna as you can see one side we have HF TX and antenna and on the other side we have VHF UHF okay guys it feels well built sturdy enough I think the, the Max version's got a switch on the back uh, for PEP reading. So I think that's the only thing that differs between the two, to be fair. It feels a nice little box, feels good quality. So anyway, let's power this up. So straight into the back of here, 12 volt DC. Okay, let's see if it powers up first before we connect it to any radio at. That's a nice display there, actually. Looks good. It's a good size, that's for sure. Yeah, it feels bigger than 3.5, but yeah, 3.5 inch screen, or display, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's good that, it's nice. Right, okay, let's get connected up. So, on the rear here, we're going to go straight from the uh, DX10 into TX of the SWR meter, and we we'll go straight into a dummy load. Let's have a little look over here. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, I'm gonna put the DX10 on. We'll go to, oh, I believe it there actually, 2550 FM. Uh, Plugged in with dummy load. Um, I think I'm just probably about 10 watts here. Let's have a little look anyway. Well, let's have a little look on here. Let me just double check on this uh, radio. Yeah, it was on 10 watts. So 10 watts on the DX10 into a dummy load is 10.45, so that's somewhere near enough, isn't it, that, to be honest? Yeah, it's nice to see reflected power there as well, isn't it? So let's wind that up a little bit. So we'll go to... Uh, I'll go 40, it doesn't matter anyway, does it? Yeah, it's, that's pretty good, isn't it? 50... Have a look. 80. It's neat, isn't it? That is very neat. I love the size of it. When you've got crap eyes like me, anyway, that's for sure. 
and full tilt this is doing 103 watts on 10 meters yeah, it's just dropping a bit there all right holds quite well there doesn't it so let me just check that again it's about three or four seconds that holds thereabouts which is quite nice yeah it's a nice touch that so we're just going to flick over to what doesn't really want to do so let's go try um, yeah 25 watts max isn't it so it is showing us power just obviously it won't show us pep one two three one two three whoa dee oh dee oh dee there's a little bit it's been reverse which is obvious right anyway mode let's go on ssb let's see what happens here one two three oh dee oh wow oh wow oh wow oh wow oh sort of you get the gist anyway it's never going to be perfect is it but uh, yeah it gives us an idea anyway doesn't it i'm gonna get me a little xg92a and i think i'll run this into that maybe just to see how accurate it is anyway let's give that a go right no way is this scientific so basically i've got the dx10 going into the 503 which is then going into the xg92a um, obviously that's got a built-in dummy load so this will be going to be an interesting uh, test as well isn't it <laughs> so we'll start again at uh, 10 watts and let's see what happens between the two uh. so 10.23 that's very similar isn't it so a there. just under 10 watts it's showing on here and it's showing a bit more than 10 watts on there so we we'll look the power now to 25 let's have a look what we've got here 120 watt scale on there 23.72 now if you look down here it's around about the same uh, again we'll go up the power we've got 50 watts right okay 51.22 on the digital power meter and again if you look down here it's just over 50 watts yeah go to 80 79.92 and it's about the same that's just under 80 watts can you see down there guys it's flat out 100 and you can see there guys it's just under 100 watts on my xg92 and this is showing 101 obviously it's going to be a bit more loss isn't it so i think these are about the same you know that's pretty good isn't it to be honest for a, a digital meter and i love the way it holds yeah it's definitely a good three or four second hold there which is quite neat I don't know why I haven't been using this to be honest, but like I say, it's just one of them things, isn't it? You buy something and you end up putting it on the shelf and never even looking at the damn thing. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good, and it's really clear on my eye as well. Yeah, interesting. I thought I would try a low-powered CB radio out on it to see what it was like. And this is the Thunderbolt T800, the tenth anniversary edition, which I might add as a great little radio. And I like leaving this on in the shack in the background. It's it's all right, you know good little radio and it's tiny so let's have a look what this is all about with power wise that so we're showing four well just over four watts which is bang on isn't it near enough i know my xg92 was showing this around about four and a half watts i think they're about so you'll see it drop down a little bit as it heats up but uh yeah that's all good so what we'll do next we check the SWR. You can see there's obviously an SWR, but we're going through a dummy load there, so it doesn't really count, does it? Well, it does, I suppose, but there you go. So we'll connect the antenna up and we'll go from there. Okay, now the radio and the SWR meter is connected up to the antenna. It's a vertical serial blizzard. And round out here should be about one to one-ish thereabouts. Yeah, something round about that anyway. So let's just check on that. Eh? Power's just over four watts and SWR's one yeah and we've got no reflected power at all which you don't want anyway when you've only got four watts but yeah that's pretty good isn't it that that's interesting it's a kind of little meter actually like i say i can't believe i've left this so long to try okay let's do a little test on vhf like i say this is far from scientific um we've got <laughs> A right concoction here going into the SWR meter. We've had to use the other side of the SWR meter, as you can see there, guys, for VHF, UHF, and straight out into a dummy load. Okay, again, like I say, it's far from scientific, but it'll do the job. So we're on 145525, not that it really matters. Um, power wise, it's on high. So let's have a little look, okay. So five watts, yeah. That's somewhere near, isn't it, for this radio? 
and again the dummy loader's doing its job no problem there whatsoever so let's try this um, power okay that's low 1.7 medium three and a half and back to high yeah let's drop down a bit there look yeah that's good that's okay that's fine they do that anyway these radios when they get warmed on they drop a little bit which won't really make much of a difference but yeah that seems to be reading fine to be honest i think these retail at the moment for 99 pound i think the max versions another 30 pound don't quote me on that it may be worth stretching to that i think just for pep alone if i'd have known in the first place i probably would have went for that model but like i say uh, the guys over at uh, canny components did me a great deal on this if i remember rightly so yeah i'm not complaining whatsoever but yeah it's actually surprised me how decent it is to be honest i was expecting it to be like um, not the best thing but yeah it's pretty good mm, it's nifty it's going to be quite uh, valuable for in the shack i would have said yeah i like it definitely a big thumbs up for that little swr power meter without a doubt um what is its plus points big display clear and crisp on the eye its frequency range is fantastic like i say doing hf vhf uhf sandy 200 watt again more than enough for most people that without a shadow of a doubt and it's not overpriced is it really i was expecting it to be a mile out to be honest i thought it wasn't going to be very accurate but uh, no it's doing the job quite well i'd say like yeah so on the whole i, th I definitely recommended that guys like i say if you can stretch for me for the max version for an extra i think it's 30 pound i'd probably go for that but other than that yeah nice little thing to have anyway guys hopefully it's been of some use and if it has thumbs up wouldn't go miss for the channel and if you haven't already, subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.